Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Welcome to Fahad's tutorial once again. And this is the time to explain voltaic cell or galvanic cell. Those who have clicked this video, I hope you have already studied electrochemical cells. And you know that electrochemical cells, it means that electricity and chemical reactions. So two types of things is going on here. So when we'll think about the electrochemical cells, we need to know that there are two types of activities is going on, which is electrolytic cell and the second is galvanic cell. And this is the second part that I will I will just definitely discuss in this tutorial. So on the on the basic uh, previously we know that electrochemical cells it means that electricity will be used either or electricity will be produced from the chemical reactions and in this cell chemical reactions will take place to produce electricity and we know that electricity is nothing but the flow of electron so something is going on here that is allowing the flow of electron so something is releasing electron and on the other hand something is accepting that electron so only releasing electron is not the reactions full reactions so something which is releasing electrons and something which is accepting electrons both will combine a formula or combine a reaction which is known as redox we know that reduction and oxidation form the total or full reaction which is redox so how this voltaic or galvanic cell is working before going to explain it we need to know the name john frederick daniel who invented these things and these cells in 1836 and that is why it is named after him so we can say this is galvanic cell or voltaic cell or daniel cell so what's going on two different container immersion so two class class uh, form or ceramic made container will be used two different solution will be used two different metal will be used so and these two different metal among them one should be more reactive and one is less reactive and then two electrode will be connected a wire which will allow as an electric conductor to flow the electron so we know that electric conductor allows flowing of electrons and again the electrolytes is also working as an electric conductor so here what's going on in this container you think that this is more reactive metal which is usually zinc and the less reactive metal which is actually copper and this zinc metal is submerged into the similar type of solutions which is zinc sulfate and copper will be submerged into copper sulfate solutions so this is aqueous form this is very interesting and this is very easy to understand so the zinc metal which is more reactive is submerged into the zinc sulfate solution and copper is submerged into copper sulfate solution and it is connected through a wire which is acting as an electron conductor so as zinc is active than copper so definitely zinc will release electron so this zinc metal it is combined with a zinc atom inside so each zinc each zinc atom atom will release electron and then it will form zinc 2 plus ions by releasing this electron so zinc is comparatively active than copper so zinc is releasing electron and then this zinc atom will be an ion which will be dissolved in the solution it is no longer added as the metal into the zinc metal 
So when zinc is releasing electron one zinc atom, then after releasing two electron, it becomes zinc two plus I. And again, another zinc will release electron and it becomes zinc two plus I. So when zinc is releasing two electrons from one single atom, then it will be zinc 2 plus ion. So when it is forming zinc 2 plus, each time two electrons is released and that electron is going through this wire. So when electron is going from zinc to somewhere, so that should be, on the other hand, there should be something that will accept that electron. So zinc is releasing electron and this is known as oxidation. This is known as oxidation. So we can say this is oxidation half reaction. So we can say this is oxidation half, half reaction. Oxidation half reaction. Now you think that this solution is actually copper sulfate. So there actually what is going on in copper sulfate solution, copper ions and sulfate ions are there. So this copper is, is actually except these electrons. So what's going on? This copper 2 plus in aqueous solution that will accept the released electron from zinc and then it will form copper solid. So those copper 2 plus is actually dissolving here. They will accept their electrons and they will be a solid form and then they will actually add it here. So it will be after, it will be actually like these after the reactions. I mean all the copper 2 plus will accept electrons and they will be added into this metal as it is going to solid form. So copper 2 plus is accepting electrons and this is reduction. So we can say this is reduction half reaction and this is called redox. So only the donating electron does not mean this is the full reaction. So donating electron is oxidation half reaction and accepting electrons is actually reduction half reaction and then it's combined the redox reaction. So what is the total? What is the total reaction see here? That is we can say that What's going on here? Zinc 2 plus. This zinc 2 plus. So, or, or we can say as a cell notation that zinc uh, solid will be zinc 2 plus, which is aqua solution. And then this is the physical barrier between these solutions, these two. So, what's going on in the other side? This copper is becoming copper solid and we can say this is uh, the cell total reaction and as this is actually releasing electron this is oxidation half reaction and this one reduction half reaction and this is all together the expression of the reactions which is going on inside so we can actually add a bulb here and it will be enlightened. So that means the flow of electrons with this wear is going on. And that flow of electron, it means the electricity. So it means the chemical reactions undergoes, the, the, the chemical elements undergo with these reactions and that it produces the flow of electrons with the electron conductor. So this is a very short description about the voltaic or chemical cells. So those who already studied about the electrochemical cells, I've already explained it earlier that what is electrode. You know this is electrode. And you must know that as zinc is releasing electron, it will work as anode. 
this is anode reaction and this is cathode reaction. So the anode is one type of electrode. So here oxidation will take place. In anode oxidation will take place and in cathode reduction will take place. So oxidation means releasing of electron. So when zinc is releasing electron, it is turning to the aqueous form. So what is going on inside? That zinc 2 plus, there will be the abundance of zinc 2 plus in the solutions. And then when it will, after some reactions, it will be like this. It will be, I mean, it will be actually losing its size because all the zinc is becoming zinc 2 plus after some time and then copper 2 plus will be added here and then it will be like this so it will be fatty it will be skinny because it is losing its ions it is losing its atom actually and then abundance of zinc 2 plus in this solution and abundance of sulfate in these solutions and that is why a salt base is using here and this salt base is actually using because of the, the equalizations of the ions in these two containers it can be potassium chloride it can be sodium chloride because it's salt base and that is using here that will be using here for equalizations of the ions. I'm coming up with the next video what is the use of salt breeze and why it is using. So in this video my target was to explain only the voltaic cell or the galvanic cell and this is called Daniel cell because John Frederick Daniel in 1836 he invented this. So those who are studying right now and watching my tutorial think about it positively that it was the similar type of electrode earlier. This is metal, metal rod. This is zinc metal rod and copper metal rod. But zinc will be acting as anode because it is more active than copper and copper will be less active than zinc. And that is why copper will be like this and zinc will be like this after some time. Because so I hope you understand till now. And this is the reaction. You must know this is the separations and these two lines represents the physical distance between these solutions because this is going on in this solution and this is going on in this solution and this physical barrier actually this one so this is the cell, cell reaction notation so this is important this is uh, oxidation and reduction half reaction and all together this is redox and we know that in the reaction redox reaction electron transfer is going on and we know that electricity is nothing but the flow of electron so i hope you understand i'm coming up in the next video with the uses of uh, the solvers and why it is using in the daniel cell bye take care